Rachel's Garden Cafe has grown very much in the last few years. We do everything from the Sunday roast to goat cheese and all of those products that are locally sourced then as well. From the biscuits you get with your cup of coffee to all the sauces made from scratch. It's not coming out of a packet. That's why the restaurant is doing so well. All the apples, for example, and all the rhubarb comes from my own garden. We want the food to be as organically grown as possible and that we know where it's coming from. People love to come in and see the bread and butter pudding that they remember as children. We cater for vegetarian, for any sort of dietary requirements. It really is listening to, to what our customers' needs are. Because there's so many really good producers in Carlo, we can source all these produce locally. Our signature dish on the menu is braised Irish beef in O'Hara stout. We have one couple who comes from Dublin every two weeks and they'll never ever have anything else except that dish, which is amazing. Carlo Brewing Company, we're almost 20 years old. Initially we were based in Carlow Town until 2009, then we moved to what was our new premises here in Bagnestown, County Carlow, and we've got almost 40 people working here now. We're brewing quite a wide range of craft beers for both the domestic and the export markets. We have a great history of brewing and distilling in the area. We have a catchphrase, brewing in the flavour. Brewing has all these really interesting you know, raw materials, locally produced malt, very flavoursome hops. A lot of the time, sort of mainstream brewing brews out a lot of that flavour, so as an artisan craft brewery, you know, we're about getting that flavour in. We're also about doing it on a, on a consistent basis and hopefully the customers then who taste that beer really kind of taste the difference. We started off probably inspired more by the history of the area, traditional beer styles like Irish stouts and ales. But as this market has grown, it's encouraged us to broaden our range. So now we produce pale ales, double pale ales, uh, we do barrel aging of our stout. People have become more interested in, in you know, where, the, where their food or their beverage comes from. And I think that's really helped small independent local producers like ourselves. Today we export about 25 different countries, from the USA to Russia and a number of European countries to Sweden, Norway, Denmark, Finland. So I think there's a big interest out there internationally in Irish beer for sure. I think a food lover would be mad not to come to Carlo. We have artisan producers from honey, apples, drink, to restaurants, bakery products. The series is trading for 26 years. I set it up with my wife, Philo, in a converted garage at the back of our house. In 2000, we built this state-of-the-art food processing building. We employ 65 people and we service the retail trade throughout Ireland, in the UK, on the continent, in Holland, and then as far away as Australia. Our products range over fruit cakes, top-iced cakes, and plum puddings. Our most successful products are our tea brack, which attract, shall we say, people with some grey hairs. Our recipes are all original recipes that were developed by my wife, Philo. We have a very strict traceability system in place and we only source our ingredients from premium suppliers. And then we have strict quality control systems so that we have consistent product going out to our customers. While we have grown, we could still consider ourselves to be a craft bakery. Forge was set up 14 years ago in 2001 by Mary Jordan. It's a family business and we're situated right in the heart of County Carlow. Our tagline is home baking and local produce. So it's something that we believe in hugely is supporting local producers and other local food makers. And we're really about providing a quality product at a great value price. We're really at the heart of County Carlo and its local produce is amongst the best in Ireland or in the, in the world indeed. Potatoes, eggs, cheese, milk, anything you need we have it on our doorstep. So it's something we utilise every day obviously and we're really proud to do so. It's great to be able to bring Carlo produce to the table for people, for local people and for visitors alike. People come to the Forge because it's, it's something that they know already in ways. It's part of their nostalgia, so it's the bacon and cabbage and the beef roast dinner. It's about servicing the best of what is traditional Irish food and doing it in a way that brings quality and a feeling of welcome when you come through the door. 
Walsh Whiskey was formed in 1999 by myself and my wife Rosemary. Rosemary created a, a beautiful Irish coffee recipe back home which we proceeded to bottle as the hot Irishman. Uh, we sourced the whiskey of course locally and moved on from there to lay down our own whiskies to release the Irishman whiskey range in 2006. A few years later we added the brand Writer's Tears. In the Irishman we have uh, Founders Reserve, which is our, our blend, and then we have the Irishman Single Malt and the Irishman 12-year-old Single Malt. Whereas we have the Irishman maybe exported across 36 countries, through USA, Canada, throughout Europe, over to Russia, and down as far as Australia. With Riders Tears we're only in seven at the moment, that's just due to we don't have enough stocks. All our products, we try to make them unique. With our whiskies, we specialize in pot and malt, no grain or maize whiskies, we call it, in them. So we're taking single pot still and single malts and batting those. This is very unique. Our main ingredient that we need in the distillery is barley. And Carlo is the central growing belt for barley in the whole country. So this is just a perfect spot for us. I would say to people, if you haven't come to Carlo to try the food offerings that's right around the county, you really are seriously missing out. The people, the food, the whiskey, the crack here is just superb. This is real Ireland and you meet real people and you're going to have a wonderful time.